Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using moment distribution method. In this beam, the support B sinks by 10 mm. The flexural rigidity Ea is given as 8000 kN meter square. Before starting the analysis, let us see the beam one time. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In the span AB, there is a uniformly distributed load 3 kN per meter and it is acting for the full span. In the span BC, we have a eccentric point load 12.5 kN acting at 4 meter from the point B. The moment of inertia for the span AB is I. For the span BC, it is 2.5 I. Length of the span AB is 8 meter. Length of the span BC is 10 meter. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the points B and C, there are roller supports. In this beam, we have to find three movements MAB, MBA and MBC. Also, we have to find three reactions RA, RB and RC. In the point C, there will be no movement because it is a simply supported end. So, MCB will be zero. Now, let us find the fixed end movements. First, in the span AB, let us find them. In the span AB, we have UDL, 3 kN per meter, acting for the full span. The formula for the fixed end movements are minus WL square upon 12 and positive WL square upon 12. In this problem, the support B is sinking by 10 mm. So, we have to also find the fixed end movements due to sinking. The formula for the fixed end movement due to sinking is 6 Ea delta upon L square. This can be either positive or negative. If the sinking occurs on the right side, this movement will be negative. If the sinking occurs on the left side, this movement will be positive. Let us consider the span AB. In the span AB, the sinking occurs in the point B. So, the sinking occurs on the right side. Since the sinking occurs in the right side, the formula for the fixed end movements due to sinking will be negative. In these formulas, let us apply the values. W is 3, L is 8. The delta value is given as millimeter. So, we have to convert this into meter. When we divide 10 by 1000, we will get 0 0.01 meter. Let us apply that value. The value of Ea is given in the question as 8000 kN meter square. The formula for the fixed end movement due to sinking will be same for both the M of AB and M of BA. So, only one time we have to calculate that and we can apply the same value for M of BA. No need to find it again and waste the time. After the calculations, we are getting M of AB minus 23.5 kN meter and M of BA 8.5 kN meter. Now, let us find the fixed end movements in the span BC. In the span BC, there is an eccentric point load 12.5 kN. 
the formulas for the fixed end moments are minus w a b square upon l square and positive w a square b upon l square. Also, we know that the support b is sinking. So, we have to find the fixed end moment due to sinking. We know that this moment either will be positive or negative. Let us consider the span BC. In the span BC, singing occurs in the left side. If the singing occurs in the left side, the fixed end moments due to singing will be positive. Let us apply the values in the formulas. W is 12.5. A is 4, B is 6, L is 10, EA is 8000, Delta is 0 0.01. When we apply the value of EA, we have to be very careful. For the span BC, the moment of inertia is 2.5i. So, we have to multiply EA with 2.5 here we have to be very careful we know that the fixed end moment due to singing will be same for both the m of bc and m of cb so no need to calculate for m of cb just to apply this value here after the calculations we are getting m of bc as minus 6 kN meter and M of CB as 24 kN meter. In the moment distribution method, we have to find the distribution factor. We have to find the distribution factor only in the joints. In this analysis, there is only one joint, that is the joint B. In this joint only, we have to find the distribution factor. To find the distribution factor, we have to calculate the stiffness. Let us see the formula to calculate the stiffness. If the fair end is fixed, the formula is 4 Ea upon L. If the fair end is hinged or with the roller support, the formula is 3 Ea upon L. If the fair end is continuous, the formula is 4 Ea upon L. From the joint B, we have to find two stiffness values for BA and for BC. First, let us find for BA. For that, from the joint B, we have to look at the point A. In the point A, there is a fixed support. If the fair end is fixed, the formula for the stiffness is 4 EA upon L. Length of BA is 8. Let us apply that. After the calculation, for the stiffness of BA, we are getting 0.5 EI. Now, let us find the stiffness for BC. For that, from the joint B, we have to look at the point C. In the point C, there is a roller support. If the farad is having roller support, the formula for the stiffness is 3 EI upon L. For BC, the moment of inertia is 2.5i. So, instead of i, we have to apply 2.5i. Length of BC is 10. Let us apply that. Finally, for the stiffness of BC, we are getting 0.75ei. Now, let us find sigma k. In the joint B, we have found two stiffness values. Let us add both of them. After adding, we are getting 1.25 EI. Now, let us find the distribution factor. The formula for the distribution factor is K upon sigma K. We have found the K values and the sigma K. Using the formula, we can find the distribution factor values. Now, let us start making the moment distribution table. In the table, first let us enter all of the members. Then, let us enter the distribution factor values. In the fixed end, there will be no distribution factor. So, for AB, the distribution factor is 0. 
in the roller supported end the distribution factor will be 1 so for cb the distribution factor is 1 in the joint b we have calculated two distribution factor values let us apply them then let us enter the fixed end movements we know that in the point c there will be no movement because it is a simply supported end so mcb is zero in the table we have to make cb zero for cb the fixed end movement is 24 when we add minus 24 with this 24 we will get zero so we have released cb and we have to give the carryover from CB to BC. When we divide minus 24 by 2, we will get minus 12. Now let us calculate the adjusted fixed end movements. For AB, BA, there are no changes. For BC, we have to add these two values. After adding, we are getting minus 18. Now let us make the first distribution. We know that the distribution can be done only in the joints. In this analysis, there is only one joint that is the joint B. In this joint only, we can make the distribution. For joint B, we have the members BA and BC. For them, we have the fixed end movements 8.5 and minus 18. In the joint B, first let us make the distribution for BA. For that, we have to add these two fixed end movements and then multiply with the distribution factor at BA. When we do that, we are getting minus 3.8. Since we got a negative value, we have to apply inside the table as positive. Now let us find the distribution for BC. For that we have to add these two fixed end movements and then multiply with the distribution factor at BC. When we do that here also we are getting a negative value. So we are entering inside the table as positive. Now let us make the carryover. We cannot make the carryover between BC and CB because we have already released CB and made it zero. In this case, we can make the carryover only between AB and BA. For AB, there is no distribution, so we cannot make the carryover from AB to BA. For BA, the distribution is 3.8. When we divide 3.8 by 2, we will get 1.9. In this analysis, now we cannot proceed further. We know that we can make the distribution only in the joint B. But now in the joint B, there are no values. So we can not make the second distribution. Let us add all of the values and find the final moments. When we add these two values, we are getting minus 21.6. When we add these two values, we are getting 12.3. When we add these two values, we are getting minus 12.3. So in this analysis, we have calculated all of the movements. For MAB, we got a negative value. That means it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. For MBA, we got a positive value that means it is acting in the clockwise direction. For MBC, we got a negative value that means it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. Now let us find the vertical reactions. First let us take the span AB and find the vertical reactions. In the span AB, there are two movements MAB which is acting in the anti-clockwise direction and MBA which is acting in the clockwise direction. In this span, first I am going to find RA. 
for that i am going to take moment about b in this case i am moving towards right hand side clockwise will be positive and anti clockwise will be negative the vertical reaction ra is acting in the clockwise direction so it will be positive and the distance is 8 so 8 ra the udl is acting in the anti clockwise direction so it will be negative when the udl comes we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2 then we have two moments 21.6 moment is acting in the anti clockwise direction so it will be negative the 12.3 moment is acting in the clockwise direction so it will be positive finally we are getting ra which is equal to 13.16 kN. now let us apply the rule sigma v is 0 and find out rb1 now let us take the span bc and find the vertical reactions in the span bc there is only one moment mbc which is acting in the anti clockwise direction in this span first i am going to find rb2 for that i am going to take moment about c rb2 is acting in the clockwise direction so it will be positive and the distance is 10 meter so 10 rb2 the point load is acting in the anti clockwise direction so it will be negative and the distance is 6 so minus 12.5 into 6 then we have a moment which is acting in the anti clockwise direction so it will be negative after calculations we are getting rb2 which is equal to 8.73 kN. then we can apply the rule sigma v is 0 and find out rc we have found the reaction in the point b two times let us add rb1 and rb2 so that we will get rb now let us make the shear force diagram using the reactions and the loads we can make this diagram now we are going to draw the bending moment diagram before that let us make the free moment diagram and the end moment diagram for making the free moment diagram we have to assume every span as a separate simply supported beam and calculate the moments if the udl is acting for the full span we have to use this formula if the eccentric point load is acting in the span we have to use this formula using these values we can make these diagrams let us see how to make the end moment diagram Using the direction of the movements, we can make the end movement diagram. Now, let us combine the free movement diagram and the end movement diagram so that we will get the bending movement diagram. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.